For our next field, we'll add in some radio buttons. Radio buttons allow users to pick one predefined choice. The most common is a yes-no grouping. To add the field, you need to go up and select the radio button tool, and then you'll want to drag and drop a nice little square onto the page because there'll be a round radio button in there. When the radio button pops up, we'll give the radio button a name. For the name, I'll call it Happy, because we're asking people a question, are you happy? Then, we'll need to add another radio button, and we'll drag and drop that in here. Now, here's the trick to radio buttons. If you have a grouping of radio buttons, you'll only want one value submitted from that grouping of radio buttons. The way to make this happen inside of Adobe Acrobat Professional is you give the radio buttons in the grouping the exact same name. So the name I'll type in here is Happy. So if you notice, if I click on this field, it says Happy. If I click on this field, it says Happy as well. Now what's going to change between these two options in the radio buttons are the export values. So if I click on the first happy button and I go to options, you can see the export value is yes. Now if I go to the second happy, I'm going to want to change this to say no. If we look at the radio buttons, by clicking on the hand tool, you can see that the radio button only allows me to select one option. Now you could have many more options in here. This is just an example of a yes, no radio button. If I select yes, yes will be submitted to the database. If I select no, no will be submitted to the database. So remember, the trick here is to make sure that both of the fields that you dropped in have the exact same name. 